Hello and welcome to a video tour of the Green Online eLearning portal. To reach the portal, you have to enter this URL into the address bar and you reach this landing page. All available courses on the portal are already visible prior to login. To access any courses that I, the user, have been enrolled for, I need to click on Login. And on the login page, I enter the unique username and password that have been allocated to me, and I log in. Once I've logged into the dashboard, I will see any courses that I have been enrolled for under My Courses. And in this case, I have been enrolled for the Principles of PV Systems course. To access the course, I click on Open. And I can now see each of the modules available to me in this course. In this case, we have eight webinars. Scroll down. We have two podcasts. And we have a final test that we will take at the end of the course. It is more of a, a, a quiz, a self-assessment to check that I've understood all of the content that has been presented to me. In the eight modules of this course, we look at the basic principles of PV systems. So we start with an overview of renewable energy in general, and then we go on to the basics of PV technology and PV connections. And in the fourth module, we look at DC and AC appliances and how they differ from each other. We then proceed to looking at the various components of systems, and this section is split into two modules. We continue with PV system configurations, which means how the single components that we just looked at can be connected to form a PV system. And lastly, we take a look at the limitations of systems, what is possible with PV and what is not possible. The podcasts are great for learners who want to take a really deep dive into the subject matter. They are between half an hour and an hour long. They often introduce the topic or sum up the topic at the end of the chapter. And they're great for listening to on the go. For instance, if a student is traveling to and from college, ideally a student is going to start with podcast one. To access it, I click on start course. And I'm presented with an audio file and I'm going to hit play. Let's have a listen. Hello, my name is Vivian and I'm the host for these podcasts, which we are recording for our online course. The idea of the podcast is to give a bit more info on interesting topics and to discuss a little bit and find out more about the modules you've been doing in the online training. Let's move ahead to use biomass to produce biogas to operate cars. Unfortunately, it was not that successful, but so we should give it a try again. So if you look what is what we are using um, the most right now from the renewable point of view, it's still 6% of hydropower, 2% wind and each 1% solar, biofuels and other renewable energy sources. I can finish the podcast all in one go, or I can listen for a bit and then go back to other modules in the course if I want to. So here we are back in the overview of the course, and I want to take a look at what one of the webinar modules looks like. So to begin one of the webinars, I click on Start Course. We'll start at the very beginning, Webinar 1, Renewable Energy Sources. And I click Enter. In this module, we learn about renewable energy. 
often also called alternative energy or sustainable energy. We will discover what renewable energy is. You'll be introduced to different renewable energy sources and how these sources are used. We'll look at the advantages and disadvantages of renewable energy and lastly we'll have a brief look at how renewable energy is used in Ethiopia and elsewhere in the world. All right, when I'm ready to advance to the next slide, I can navigate with these arrows down at the bottom. Let's look at what renewable energy is. One definition is that it is energy generated from unlimited natural resources. And I can also control the volume down here. Generated from a natural resource such as wind, sun, water, plants and I want to skip ahead a few slides so that we can have a look at some of the interactive exercises that might be presented to a user. Um, I want to show you one of the interactive exercises in the webinar. We call this one a drag and drop exercise, and you'll see how that works here. Please allocate the energy sources to fossil and renewable energies. So they're asking me to drag the options into one of the two categories below. Let's see how well I do. Natural gas. And if I've got it right, I will be allowed to move on to the next slide. Another example of interactive content is videos. Let's take a look at one of the videos in this module. Let's find out a bit more about solar modules. In this experiment, I'm going to use a solar module to measure, but instead of the big one, I have a few smaller cells. Technically, they are the same. You can see this blue surface area. This is the solar cell. Every module will end with a slide like this, where the content of the module is summed up. The, tu the student can ensure that they have understood all of the key learnings of the module, and it also helps them to understand that they've reached the end of the chapter. Let's have a listen. We discussed all forms of renewable energy. Are you interested to learn more and to dive deeper in the world and the potential of renewable energy? Then don't miss the related podcast. You should now have a good understanding of what renewable energy is and what it is not, the different RE sources and how they're used. We've explored their advantages and disadvantages and now know why we have to use them more and more. You will also have learnt what type of renewable energy Ethiopia is utilising and how RE is used in the rest of the world. To improve your knowledge of RE, read Learning Guide 1. Were you able to complete the quiz? You have now completed Module 1. Great, so once I've completed the module, I can exit the activity. And return to the course overview and proceed with module two, module three, and so on. At the end of every chapter, as mentioned, there is a final test, a mini self-assessment. To begin the test, I say start course and I press enter. And here I have instructions, multiple choice questions, I have to answer them all, and I must score at least 70% to pass the test. I've skipped ahead here so that you can see what the final page of the test looks like. This is once I've worked my way through all of the multiple choice questions. Each question is worth one point, and I can see what I scored and how much I needed to score to pass. We have set a 70% pass rate on the test. 
I can either choose to retake the quiz now and I will be presented with a totally new random set of multiple choice questions or I can exit the test and come back at some point in the future to test myself again. A great feature of the green online e-learning portal is the dashboard that I have access to as a learner. And if I go ahead and click on that, I can see which courses I've recently accessed. I can see which modules are in progress. If you are interested in doing this course, please visit the Green Solar Academy website for more information and to enroll.